Hello everyone, welcome back. Last time we discussed chapter transmitting knowledge. Today our chapter is invention and discoveries. In last chapter we discussed how knowledge has been transferred. What kind of improvement was there? Printing press, paper, all these things we discussed last time. Now today I will discuss about various inventions and discoveries. We all know history is about stories and incidents from the lives of great men who led the invention and discoveries. These invention and discoveries helped man to live more comfortable. Before starting this chapter, let me tell you what invention and discoveries are. What do you mean by invention? When someone has an idea for something new and makes it work, it is called an invention. Sometimes so many people work together on one idea. And many times it happens that one person invents something and other improves it. This is all about invention. Now let me tell you what discovery is. When someone searches or finds something new that is already present in the world, it is called discovery. The first topic of our chapter is engine. Now engine. This was the great invention. I can say one of the great invention that led to the turning point in the history of man was the invention of steam engine. Steam engine was invented by James Watt in 1769. It worked, it pumped out water from the coal mines. As coal mines was filled with rainwater, where water has to be pumped out, so to work properly. The steam engine proved to be a blessing. In course of time, steam engine helped to make different machines for different industries. The steam engine led to the invention of railway engine. George Stephenson in 18th century. This engine, this engine carried, I can say, it pulled a coach with 30 person to about 50 km per hour. People called it as a rocket. People called it as a rocket because it can move or you can say because it moved very fast. So they called it as a rocket. Earlier, the ships were set or I can say ships sail at the mercy of winds. But steam engine enabled ships to ply on high seas. Now machine run with diesel or petrol. The car, buses, trucks were invented from steam engine. With the invention of steam engine, the production underwent a change. Mass production became a note to the industry. After that, when mass production became a note to the industry, instead of one man doing all the work, the work was divided. Each worker skilled in a particular area do that work. After that, production increased, cost reduced and improved quality. This period is also called as Industrial Revolution. Gordel Daimler, a German scientist, invented an engine ran on petrol in 1885. This was the first motor car. Later petrol engine, this engine was used in aeroplane also. Rudolf Diesel invented a machine ran on diesel. This was all about the topic engine. Now dear students, I hope you have understood the topic engine. Now the second topic is electricity. Now if I talk about the electricity in modern times, it is the most common form of energy. It is made of coal, mineral oil, water or gas. The electricity generated from moving water is called hydel power or hydroelectricity. After that, 
dams were built on rivers and water was stored in these dams big dams i'm talking about big dams big dams were built on rivers and water was stored in these dams which helped in generating electricity now power plant also helps in generating electricity electricity was first discovered by benjamin franklin an american scientist he was an american scientist and he discovered electricity he observed lightning during a thunderstorm and he wondered he wondered if lightning in stormy skies and produce light like leaden jar was similar he observed lightning during a thunderstorm and he wondered if lightning in stormy skies and produced light by leaden jar was similar thomas elwadson became famous for inventing electric lamp michael faraday also invented so many machines which produces and use electricity among them are dynamo x-ray motor bike and so many after that electricity helped in so many things we use electricity in our homes it runs trains it helps in pumping water from wells and tube wells volta an italian scientist made a first battery made a first battery and this battery work on a small scale now a day scientists are working very hard to find such things that will not pollute our environment so they are doing this for our environment this is all about chapter invention and discoveries i hope you all have understood this chapter dear students now let me recapitulate this chapter our first topic was steam engine steam engine was invented by james watt in 1769 first date 1769 james watt invented steam engine and this was the turning point in the history of mankind George Stephenson made steam i can say George Stephenson invented steam locomotives in 18th century after petroleum i can say after coal petroleum was discovered and it was refined to obtain coal or i can say it was refined to obtain petrol or diesel the last topic was electricity electricity benjamin franklin proved that lightning was electricity he was an american scientist and he proved that electricity lightning was electricity thank you my dear students have a nice day